If you're struggling to learn AWS, but you can't seem to come up with a game plan to get your training in line, you're gonna love today's video. I'm gonna be reviewing one of my favorite training platforms to learn AWS Cloud. It's called AWS Skill Builder. Now, if you're new here, I'm Greg, creator of Thoughtful Techie Cloud. On my YouTube channel, I create videos to help you navigate your AWS cloud and tech journey. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I'm releasing videos on a weekly basis that can help you out. Now, before we dive in, in order for you to truly appreciate today's AWS Skill Builder review, I want to take you back to around 2015 when I started learning AWS. And let me tell you, there wasn't a whole lot of options. I'm gonna go over a few of those options now. Now, there's still great options, but if you're just starting out, they can be very intimidating. So the first thing you could do is just simply go to the AWS website. Now, the AWS website itself is a treasure trove of all things AWS. You can learn about products and solutions and pricing and documentation. But let's say you wanted to go over to a particular AWS service so I'll click on products here, and let's say I wanna look, learn more about analytics, and particularly I wanna learn more about Amazon Athena. Now I can pull this up, and I call these the landing page. So I'm gonna get a quick overview of what Amazon Athena is, how it works, get a little bit of a graphic here, learn some use cases, learn some customers that are using Amazon Athena, how to get started with some tutorials, get answers to your Athena questions, then I can go up here, look at features and pricing, getting started, more resources, and frequently asked questions. And I can just go down the list here. Here's one is, what is Amazon Athena? Athena is an interactive analytics service that makes it simple to analyze data in Amazon Simple Storage Service, which is S3, using SQL. And it's serverless. Now, this is all great information, but I feel like if you're starting out there's a more optimal way to do that, which we'll get into a little bit later. Now, the second way is the AWS Management Console. The AWS Management Console is one of the ways you can interact with AWS and build solutions on AWS. And let's see here, I can go up to the search field here and I'll type in Athena, just to keep it in line with what we were talking about earlier. Click on Athena here. Now we've actually pulled up Athena in the AWS Management Console. We can launch Athena, point this to S3, start querying, looking at results. The interesting thing is, if you're brand new to this, you haven't really learned how to use Athena yet, right? Or any AWS service for that matter. The other thing you could do if you're just getting started off is you could create an AWS free tier account. So I just showed you three things, which is what I did when I first got started in 2015. I went to the AWS website, started reading more about products. I created an AWS free tier account and I just jumped into the AWS management console and just started exploring on stuff and clicking on stuff and just hoping for the best. The good news is you don't have to struggle any longer to figure this stuff out because now we have AWS Skill Builder. There is so much awesome training content on this. Like I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to cover it in a single video. So my focus now is just to really give you an overview and point your attention to some areas that I think will benefit you most. Now it may not be obvious when you first arrive to the AWS Skill Builder website, but there's actually a free tier of AWS Skill Builder as well as a paid subscription tier. What's nice about AWS Skill Builder is that depending on where you are in your journey, whether you're just starting off, you're intermediate, or you've been using AWS for a while, there is training designed for you. Let's say for instance, you're new to cloud. All right, so we can scroll down here and it says here, new to AWS cloud, start your journey here. So I'm gonna click on this, start your journey. Now this pops me into a curated list designed for somebody that would be completely new to AWS. So this is gonna, link me up to Cloud Practitioner Essentials. I'm getting a description of this. This course is for individuals who seek an overall understanding of Amazon Web Services, independent of specific technical roles, and you will learn about AWS Cloud Concepts, services, security, architecture, pricing, and support. It tells you that it's a digital course, it's free, and the duration is around six hours. Then there's another course here, Cloud Quest for Cloud Practitioner. It talks about the description, 
Then you have Card Clash, which is a 3D virtual game. Just tons of stuff. All this stuff is free, by the way. And you keep scrolling down here, and now we get to some of the paid offerings, which is your digital classroom, AWS Technical Essentials. That's paid. Then you have AWS Technical Essentials digital course, free version. The difference here is this is four hours worth of training, whereas the digital classroom is 24. And what's nice about this is it gives you a curated, guided experience based on the level where you're at. Now, how I did things in 2015, I was just going to the AWS website, clicking on stuff, reading documentation, sign up for my free tier account, and then boom, went into the management console. And if that's what you want to do, hey, don't let me stop you. But I recommend, since now we have the AWS Skill Builder, give that a shot first so you can make sure you're really equipped by the time you go over to the AWS Management Console and start to test things out and build things, you know what you're doing. Okay, I've jumped back over here to the main site. Now, let's say you've gone ahead and you've learned some theory, right? Well, guess what? The next thing you need to focus on is to get some tangible hands-on skills. You don't have to go to a separate platform. It's all in the same platform. You can go right here in the center of the screen, build practical skills in the AWS Console, Click on Get Building. This view is nice because it lays out what you have access to depending on what version of Skill Builder you want to use. So the free account here, 600 plus on-demand courses and learning plans. You get the standard exam prep AWS courses, the AWS certification official question sets, the AWS Cloud Quest Cloud Practitioner, AWS Card Clash, and access to be able to complete digital badges. Now, if you go over to that individual monthly subscription, you get a ton more. You get access to a whole bunch of hands-on labs. The enhanced exam prep courses, those are gonna have flashcards. Those are gonna have additional questions. You get access to more AWS Cloud Quest intermediate and advanced roles. You get access to the AWS escape room, which is just as you would imagine it. It's a virtual escape room where you have to solve AWS questions to get out of there. I've played that. I think it's three levels, if memory serves me correctly. It is an absolute blast. Like, it's seriously fun. And, oh, yeah, by the way, you're learning at the same time. Let's scroll on down here to the bottom because I want to take you to the lab experiences. We're going to browse the lab experiences right here just so you can... Take a look at uh, all the stuff that's available here. Now, immediately you'll notice there's tons of stuff here. I literally have 14 pages worth of hands-on activities. Looks like it's 208 courses currently. Now, remember earlier when I said, what if you wanted to learn Athena? You could pick any service. We'll just stick with Athena here. I can go up to the training catalog and do a search on hands-on related activities that have Athena that pop up in it. I'll click on search. Now, this one that says a day in the life of a data engineer sounds interesting. This is a one hour hands on training that I'll click on. Every lab is detailed out on what it's about. Look at some of these course objectives. You're going to create an AWS glue crawler. That's another service. I don't necessarily expect you to know what that is, but we'll go down here to that fourth bullet. And it says we're going to be querying the AWS glue data catalog using Amazon Athena. So typically the order is. You want to learn your theory, so you'll do that through kind of like your computer-based tutorials and videos. Immediately after, you'll jump into doing hands-on labs that are relevant to the concepts and the services that you want to reinforce and build your skills in. Now, I've jumped back over to the main AWS Skill Builder page because there's one thing I know if you're working on an AWS certification, you're going to be particularly interested in. Scroll down here to where it says Get Certified, all right? Now, let's click on prepare for an exam. So this is a section that has four steps. Get to know your exam style questions. Step two, learn about exam topics. Step three, prepare for your exam. And step four, assess your exam readiness. Now, we'll look at all the available AWS certifications. Let's say you were interested in Solution Architect Associate. So I'll click on this. And what pops up is a curated list of training materials based on those steps. So step one here is, you know, it was getting to know the exam style questions. So here is an exam prep type course that includes the official practice question set for Solution Architect Associate. Step two was learning about exam topics. You got a ton of material here and you can always look in the margin here to determine the cost. In this case, all this is free. 
And yeah. Then when you get to the digital classroom architecting on AWS, if you wanted to do that, that would be paid, which would of course roll up under the subscription. Now, if you've made it all the way to this part of the video, I have a special surprise just for you. You might remember like way in the start of the video, I talked about these things called digital badges. There's something specific I wanted to talk to you about and that's AWS Knowledge Digital Badges. So these are badges that you can earn. They're different themes. Here's a Cloud Essentials, here's an Architecting, here's a Serverless. And what would happen is, let's click on the, the Serverless one, for example. Earners of this badge will have developed technical skills and knowledge of AWS serverless concepts and services with a focus on AWS Lambda and Amazon API Gateway. Now, in order to be able to earn this criteria, we're gonna look here where it says for customers and AWS partners, click on here, and this takes us guess where? AWS Skill Builder to help you prepare for the serverless knowledge badge readiness path. And if you notice here, this is completely free and there's information on the learning plan structure, all the courses you need to be able to prepare for this AWS knowledge badge are right here. So you can expand these, getting into the serverless mindset, Lambda foundations, designing event-driven architectures, just so much stuff. Now I know I covered an enormous amount of material in this video. Everything that I've showed, I've put the links in the description down below. If you have questions, don't be shy. Go ahead and put those in the comments and I'll take a look at them and give you a reply. And if you like this video, I'm betting you're gonna love this video. I'll see you in the next video.